It's the Eastern Conference on display, featuring the Boston Celtics. A time on collision. The NBA on 2K Sports Sunday Night Hoops action. Delighted to have all of you with us here tonight. The Magic are looking to grab one here for the home fans in Orlando before heading out again. Right now, they're way down in the standings, just 12th place in the conference. And you know, Kevin, during this winning streak, what's been fun to watch is that everybody knows their role, and it's very clearly defined. Everybody knows exactly what his job is, and they're going out, and they're doing it. All the pieces have fit together perfectly. There's not a more confident team in the NBA right now. Believe me, none of the guys on that team think this winning streak has happened by accident. They know it's taken hard work. So let's take a look at the Boston Celtics starting lineup. Speedy backcourt of Rondo and Bradley. Kelly Olynyk is out there with Brandon Bance. And it's Green in at the three spot. Celtics on D. Defeated by the Pelicans in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. They had major problems at the charity strike. They can cover up the holes in the roster. I got to give the Celtics credit, though. They were never really in contention for anything last year. But, Clark, they played their heart. Yeah, they did play hard, played with energy. And that goes a long way to trying to build a foundation to be successful going forward. They might not have done much wrong last year, but that attitude. Tobias Harris. Boy, the floor really opened up for him there. It sure did. A good job getting it started before the defense can get itself set. Olenek sets a screen for Rondo. Pass to Green. Back to Rondo. Shot clock at six. And it's blocked by Blackman. And it's all the depot. All the depot with the shot. Taking it to the rack with power right there. And hammering down with the two-handed slam. Well, they already had him staggered, and now all of a sudden they're throwing some haymakers. So you're going to have to tighten things up here. That's, that's not a good sign. Goes up on the block, and it's Orlando with another. How about the first quarter for him at the offensive end? He's really awesome. had the touch. That's right, goal. a terrific screen right there. Steve allowed him to lose his man and rock it to the rim. Now, don't you love to see players working together in that, that fundamental play? Fun to watch. Fry passes to Black. And again, it's Orlando with the three. Very positive opening quarter for them. The shots have... Orlando leading by six. Here's Blackman, buries the long-range jumper. Three. Money's Eddie. got 12 points in the game. And while we don't want our shot blockers risking foul trouble, having that backstop does enable our perimeter guys the freedom to play up and aggressive. So Kevin, pressure D and shot blocking. Thanks for the report, Doris. Steve, Clark, your thoughts on their defensive focus here? Well, it's the right strategy, Kevin, because you have to play to your strengths as a team. You can't get away from who you are. And that's right, Steve. Their strength is certainly what they do defensively. They can rattle for us. Dishes to Oladipo. Cashes in for a double-digit lead. Oladipo's got his second bucket tonight. Defensively, the defensive presence was almost non-existent. Well, they may see this lead disappear if they continue to give up those easy points. And now Doris Burke is up in from the sideline. Well, over that break, I listened in on what head coach for the Magic was getting across in the huddle. The focus of the discussion was getting their offense to run through money. Coach wants him to go from one of the key guys to the key guy. And from the way he responded in the huddle, I think he's up Eddie. to the challenge. Also, he said that he wanted them to operate quickly on offense, finding and taking shots early in the shot clock. We'll be watching how these adjustments work. Kev, there's still a lot of time left in this game. Thank you, Doris. Here's Rondo after the Magic pickup, too. Here's the break. Here's Blackman. She's it down to finish the break. Blackman! No time to build this lead up on the, the strength of a, a great first quarter offensively. And they need to continue to put pressure on the defense, and the easiest way to do it sometimes is, is with the bounce back. Over to the wing. Bradley against Harris. Passes it to Black. Fires for three. And again, it's the magic from deep. And they are making significant oh, that was a bad loss. And the wide open shot from Green. And a miss there on the triple. Magic leading by 14. The 
theme that has unfortunately come up for this Orlando franchise is their inability to keep a franchise talent for long. Of course, you think both about Shaq and Dwight Howard and their exits. The shot's good from Blackman. I'll tell you what, he's coming into this game with a by 21. Feeds it to Fournier. Harkless with it. Rondo on the double team. Six to shoot. Fournier pass to Black. And again, it's Orlando with the three. Johnson might bring that whole basket down on top of him. I didn't think he was ever going to let go of the rim. <laughs> he was just enjoying the moment up there. Now here is Harris. Averaging 12 points a game. Here's Money. He's covered by Rondo. Rondo on the double team. It'll be a jump ball. Here are the Magic now. Four on the shot clock. Here's Harris. And that one's good. Tobias Harris has got his second bucket of the game to go. Was made for these guys. All they need is just a little room to operate. And you can count it up. Buckets. Buckets. I like that. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Well, Kevin, for some, Aaron Gordon is and for Gordon, it's going to phase him. He said, guys, is this great for getting guys from Parrish yeah. making the moves for Kevin Garnett when he was there? And, you know, it might result in some hard transition years like this one, but there is a reason why the Celtics are never out of it for too long, and doing whatever it takes to improve the team is part Victor, of it. All the people. Just putting on a passive display. The Celtics have eight of nine in the second quarter. Very nearly perfect from the field. Bradley, no one around him. His three-pointers off the mark. Orlando leading by 22. It's Oladipo on the wing. And again, it's Orlando with the three. Victor Pretty, Oladipo. pretty passing. Timely recognition. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. It's the Magic just dominating this one. And time now to go court side as we send Joe to Doris Burke from the side. Doris? Well, you've been consistently able to find the open man for the first two quarters. What have you seen that you've been able to exploit in this defense? All of it, really. I mean, I see the whole defense is something I can exploit. Man, honestly, I got them running around like a chicken with his head cut off right now. I'm just having fun like it's a pickup game to this point. Your decisions have been on point to this point. Kevin, over to you. Okay, Doris, much appreciated. And now for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. Outside Rondo. Olenek sets a screen for Rondo. Can hit. And Orlando the other way now. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady work on the three-pointer interior, no question. Andy that's, uh, I think, the main Martin. reason they have this lead. into the third Gotta quarter now. Here's Money. He's covered by Rondo. Andy Cuts the bucket. Martin. That's 36 points for Money. Boy, shot clock at six. Doubled by Blackman. Rondo, wide open. No good with the triple. And that'll increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle on the board. Well, the main thing is they have a lot of second chance opportunities. And that is always going to allow you to maintain your lead. He kicks to Bass. And it's Orlando with the rebound. And now Orlando on the break. Oladipo. Victor good. Oladipo with the Oladipo's shot. Oladipo's got 11 points. Really not well, hard to know, see as why the team they've had a lot of negatives mixed in there as well. Here's Money. He's got 36. Pass to Vucevic. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Vucevic for two. Vucevic has got four points now in the quarter. Excellent ball. So move. for the Magic, Gordon's checked in for Vucevic. Reese Harkless comes in for Tobias Harris. And it's Peyton in for Oladipo. And then for Boston. Sellinger comes in for Kelly Olenek. And Sparks subbed in for Rajon Rondo. Assisted Amazing hops exploding to the bucket. Kevin, you don't expect it. Smart kicks to Green. Six to shoot. It's stolen. And up the court come the Magic on the break. Peyton, good. Peyton 
He's got his third bucket of the night. All right, well, look at how the Not hustle. only is their lead big, but their advantage on the boards is huge, too. Yep, well-deserved. I mean, they have worked their tails off on the glass. Andy and there's the basket. Blackman. Good from Blackman. You know, passing the ball. Boston again missing. That was not pretty there. You got to make that one, but maybe that's not his range. Now let's send it to Doris on the sideline. Hi, Kevin. When former college coach Brad Stevens came in to Ball coach finished. the Boston Beautiful. Celtics. Orlando's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Payton kicks to Harkless. Here's Blackman. And the jumper Andy is good. Money's got 13 points in just this quarter. Beautiful ball move. 102 left to play in the third. To the wing right side. Blackman knocks down the three ball. Money's got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Magic. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves here. Wallace kicks to Green. Here's Sullinger. Wallace trying to break free. Sullinger, no good. Orlando's gone two of five with the three-point shot since coming out of the break. Blackman, the pass to Bate. From the arc. And again, the triple from Blackman. Money's Andy. got 48. He's fine. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Magic out in front, running. All right, you're up. Oh, yeah. Green. And a new group in for the Celtics. Kelly Olenek's checked in for Vitor Favarani. Bass comes in for German. Rejected by Blackman. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Money's got 50 oh, points. Nice. That's the rim. Defensive rotations have been a step slow, and it's helped them get the ball in close time after time, Steve. The shot's good from Blackman. And he's got 52 points. The injury has got made him humbler and certainly more appreciative of the NBA and his God-given gifts and not skipping steps in his approach now to the game. Yeah, you know, but he did skip a flight with the Celtics last season. He stayed in L.A. to celebrate his birthday. But changing it up, exactly. Kelly Olenek's checked in for Vitor Favarani, and it's green in for Gerald Wallace. Here's money. He's covered by Rondo. Feeds it to Nicholson. To the right side. Five on the clock. Here's Blackman. Off target from outside. Celtic shooting with confidence. 50% from the field so far. Out to the right wing. And that's out of bounds. Boston Still will retain Boston. possession. Yeah, so close to picking that pass off, guys. At least he got a hand on it. He did what he needed to Checking do to make sure it didn't hit the target. Father Rodney. Wallace. There's 14 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Wallace outside. Stripped it away. And that Andy one is hammered home. Blackman. Pretty good about this win tonight, guys. Defending their home floor. Yeah, and just riding it out here now. I mean, they gave the fans what they wanted. Throws it from deep. It's off. So it's Orlando taking this one by a big margin. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night. These guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, this is one of those dreamlike games for a coach. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? Well, you absolutely torched them from the outside tonight. Did you feel like you could hit from just about anywhere on the court? Uh, yeah, but that's how I feel every night, Doris. You know me. When you're the best shooter in the world like I am, that's just how it is. My man Clark is always talking about in the gym range, you know? Well, I have a name. Zip code. Tell me. Well done. Kevin, a young man always looking for more. Thank you, Doris. And that'll do it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long and thanks for joining us as we leave you with the Jordan player of the game.